I actually learned or knew about this route first from, I think it might have been a film like Return to Sender, where there's Micah Dash, who was maybe one of my earliest influences in climbing, actually. He was one of these guys who was doing really cool stuff in Yosemite and was just a total chisel tipped beast. Micah is built for crack climbing. Little fingies. Particularly fingers, because he has these little tiny chisel tips that get right into the cracks and give him that extra advantage. Get the taper, man. I mean, look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> like, he loved a bit of that on anything. And then I watched a video of him doing this, Ruby's Cafe, and I think I actually thought at the time, I'll never, ever climb something like that. Just looks too hard and too difficult. And Micah is a legend. Yeah, I remember sitting down in the valley when him and his partner did their first ever big wall. It's just really weird to think like how much he achieved in his climbing. And I was like helping him pack up and camp. I think like Zodiac was his first ever big wall. Yeah, we were just down in the valley watching them on Zodiac with binoculars going, oh, I wonder whether they'll bail. I wonder if they can do it. I think it's actually quite good with stuff like that because then it makes you, or it reminds you that all the people that do really significant things were punters originally, and they didn't know what they were doing. Like you. <laughs> yes. but yeah. Here you are now, following in Micah's footsteps. Thinking, please don't be a punt. <laughs> so this is like a proper tips route. So you don't go in really deep on these knuckles. You're just on the last kind of digit. Got an offset zero, gray, and blue. If the crack is a little bit constricting, a little bit bigger at the top, tip size. Blue is like right on the tops or like pinky width. You're not knee barring? I don't think so, no. Are you not? No, I think it disturbs my sequence. Are you joking? Yeah. No knee bar? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You just just, just power. Let's just step step through. Just power. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I like it. I wonder if anybody's done this without the knee bar before. Ah, oh, sure, they loads up, yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. It just gets in my way of my sequence. I just want to step my foot up on that and just go over. Could live to regret that though. and it switches corners all the way up from ever so slightly slabby through to actually quite steep through a roof. And every time you do a switch across the corner and you have to change from jamming one direction through to the other direction, that's like a mini crux. So you have something like four different cruxes to do of changing the corners each time, which makes a really cool, interesting route and is a classic test piece of that size. One thing that's really, really key to this style of crack is that when it changes the sort of switching aspect, you'll get a little corner and that's where you want to twist your foot and get this ran smear in and it looks like it won't work very well, but actually if you get a ran smear really effective, it's almost as good as a pretty decent jam in say like a, a hand pod. So it's a very, very key technique to climbing this kind of size of crack. Good work, Tom. Oh yeah, I so cocked that up. Yeah, it looked a little bit off I'm, sequence. Oh, it was like, ah oh shit, what am I doing? <laughs> Good effort.
Content. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, good work. <laughs> Nicely done. But no knee bar. No knee bar. Yeah. Knee barless ascent. Rejected it. Yeah. Right, good work. Thank you. Over and out.